Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Hope everybody had a great weekend, a great Memorial Day weekend. Hope everybody had a great Monday. Hope everyone is traveling safe back to their destinations. Hope you guys enjoyed yourself. Beautiful day today. A little windy, right? The pollen blown over the place with the wind blowing. But uh, for those who had to work, it's all good, right? Uh, we had to work, it's all good. Uh, but uh, hope everyone had a great Memorial Day weekend. I want to thank everyone for subscribing to the channel. Everyone from my, my, from my people that are subscribing, please subscribe to the channel. Please hit the like button, share it. Please hit the notification, the bell. So when we upload some good things, you guys will be the first one to know when we're coming on. I just like to appreciate everyone for, uh, for, for, for looking out. All the ones my, my, from my, my regulars, you know, from Kenny Brunson, Bobby Hoffman, to, you know, to, to the Tom Stasels, to Barry Rallies, all them guys, to, to the Grindinger, Scott Grindinger, Fred Amir, all you guys that are subscribing to the channel, watching the channel, always. Thank you, AJ. Thank you, Winky. Thank you. Uh, Sister uh, Iris, I'm glad you're feeling better. Sister Iris and Fargus, I'm glad you're feeling better. God bless you. Uh, get, get some rest, right? But uh, we want to keep on, guys. Keep grinding, man. Keep on sending out this great content that we put out here on the channel. I know everyone's getting ready to uh, watch the uh, basketball game tonight. The game seven between uh, the Celtics and uh, Miami it should be a great game. I right? hope uh, no one gets blown up. I hope it goes down to a wire again, right? But uh, again, guys, I'm so, so glad we uh, got through this weekend together. Hope everybody's healthy. Everybody got home safe. You no know, driving back to their destinations. That's the key thing, right? Like I always tell people, if you don't have a good time, fine. But find an Uber, find a friend to drive for you. Uh, we can get home safer that way. It's best that way. We have to save a lot of lives that way. I want to just um, touch on, you know, we see a lot. We see a lot of uh, single-family homes that, that that a lot of uh, 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 young men and women are growing up in, and we see where a lot of times the parents don't like to uh, say too much to the kid because they're afraid that they're going. You know, hurt the child's feeling, her, 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 his or her feeling. They don't want to say nothing to them. They want to, they want to walk around, want to walk around on eggshells with the child, and uh, and, and that's that's a problem. Because as soon as someone says something to them, their 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 feelings is hurt. You know, they 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 go into their shell because somebody uh, somebody yelling them, or they don't like, they don't like authority talking to them, right? So we know that we have to get better with that, right? We have to get better to where we are getting getting our sit our kids ready for the future. Getting ready for that. I keep saying that next generation. Because you're going to get bosses and get military or whatever. And you say something to you and you're going to react. And you're going to have, have a problem. We keep talking about how you can't react. You can't get sensitive when someone says something to you that you don't like. You, you, you're defeating the purpose, man. You know, we can't sit here and get sensitive because someone says something to you. Then you got to add to. Then you want to blame everybody for your fault. Right? We got to make sure that we prepare our children for these type of for, 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 for this type of stuff, right? We know that they, they're going to face some some terrible bosses someday, right? We know they're going to face terrible law enforcement someday. They're going to stop them, get, get them at a stop, and say something slick to them they don't like. Then they don't want, they're going to light back at them. We can't do that. But we have to control ourselves the way we behave ourselves when people talk to us, the ways that we don't like, right? We can't got to eat that. You cannot sit there and get in your feelings, right? What we said before, get out your feelings and get into your bag. Stop being sensitive. I see grown. I can see. I see grown people this way too. So it's not only this. This children or young adults doing this, but it's grown people doing the same same thing, right? Someone say to them they don't like. They're getting their feelings. They got attitude. Whatever, man. Now you know as you get older, you got to eat that and move on because you still got life goes on, right? You still got to pay these bills. So stop trying to be soft with your kids. Stop being all sensitive with them and tender, worrying about what you say to them because it might hurt their feelings. Rather you hurt your feelings, hurt their feelings, than someone else hurt their feelings later. Because they did something stupid out the way. Now they got to listen to someone they don't want us to, right? And it's mighty, fun, it's mighty, mighty funny how they can cooperate with someone that they can't say nothing back to, right? So, start teaching them. When they do something, check them. Got to check them. Don't sit there and say, well, I'll let them get away with this time. No. Let them know what they did wrong and tell them why they did wrong. Let them know why are you checking them on what they did wrong. I think it's better that way. But if you start from when they're younger, they'll understand. They'll be used to it. But you start trying to be trying to Stop someone from being that way when they're 15, 16 years old. It's a problem. Again, we've been doing some, we, we, we've been doing triceps already. Don't want to keep you guys long, right? Do a couple more sets on here. Keep you guys long, but just want to put that put that out there. Right? I see too many kids, too many young people, too young adults, sensitive 
Because if someone says something to them they don't like, they got a problem, right? We see how this internet has got these guys all messed up and all soft and mushy that you can't say nothing to them. But the internet says this, and the internet says this, and the internet says they can't be able to decipher for themselves. See, that's the difference. You gotta have a mind of your own. I don't care how book smart you are. If you don't have enough, if you don't have a mind of your own, it's a problem. You have to be well rounded in everything we do, right? Not just only books. We gotta be well rounded with book smarts and street smarts, right? And, and, and common sense. Right? I always say a man don't have common sense. You, you, you're not gonna go too far. Because you can't maneuver, you can't maneuver through things, right? Can't be you can't you can't maneuver through BS. Gotta be able to maneuver through BS. Shout out to our angels. Shout out to our angels. How you doing, angels? Can you bring up, my brother? Brother Derek Whitfield, what's up, Derek? What's up, D? Tricep strong and thick. We're doing close grips. Close grips will give us our power, right? This way, if you want a bigger bench, get them tri strong, get them close grips in, heavy tricep push downs, cambers with the camber bar, that will get your bench up. Uh, but yeah, we have to be, we can't be worried about hurting our children's feelings. This way, we come, this way, this way the weakness comes in at, right? When you go to school and somebody yell at them and say something to them, Sitting around crying, right? Or they're all in their feelings about whatever, right? You won't make it in life that way. You gonna have, we're gonna have trials and tribulations. We're gonna have stupid bosses, stupid whatever, and they're gonna be say some things to you that you don't like. But you gotta be able to deal with that. So, so parents, single parents, stop being your kid's friend. Stop worrying about hurting their feelings. Don't worry about, hey, they, believe me, they'll thank you later. Because we know this ain't, ain't the real world where we watch what you say to people. People will say something to you out the way. You might be on the subway. Might be standing in the corner for a bus, whatever, cab, whatever, Uber, whatever. People will say things, things that you don't like. Okay, don't, don't, don't say nothing back. Go about your business, right? And watch out for the people out there road raging, right? And if Joker's out here trying to road rage you, just go about just mind your business. Don't put the finger back up at them. Don't yell back at them. Don't even look at them. It doesn't make you weak. It doesn't make you small for not saying nothing to them. It keeps conflict down, right? We don't want to sit there and get, you know, you know, because you know why? We don't know what that person have in the car, right? They might have anything in the car. Do something stupid, right? So don't pay no attention. If you feel like they're being over aggressive, call 911. Call someone. Tell them where you guys at. Get the license plate number. Take a picture of the license plate. Boom. Send it to the police and let the police have them there, which call. Don't get involved with that. Don't try to be your own police. Don't try to be your own, you know, be a, be a, be a vigilante and go after him. So I'm going to go get this person. He tried to run me off the road, whatever, right? Take a picture of the license plate. Remember in your head what you got to do. But don't do your own road rage stuff. There's too much road rage out here. Too many people dying from road rage out here, right? People getting left again in their feelings. We have to stop We have to stop the sensitive society that we live in. Too many people are sensitive out here. They got little stuff bothering to where it turns into big stuff. And now you can't get out of it, right? So we gotta be careful what we do, right? Gotta be careful what we do. Cut the road rage out. This road rage is ridiculous. Like I said, don't, 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 don't react to them. Don't ride past them. Put your finger up. Don't flash them. Don't flash the lights, right? Don't roll the runner down yelling them because you never know what they got. Might throw something in the car and whatever. You never know what the people's thinking, right? So keep riding. If they start riding aggressive with you, get the license plate number. If you got to drive to a police station, go to the police station. When you go, go drive to the police, nearest police station, they'll leave you alone there, right? But be careful with these guys out here road raging. Again, most of these people are sensitive in their feelings, right? They get into their feelings, right? And they think that they own the whole road, road to themselves. And then it's a problem, right? So, yeah, that's, that's, that's this road rage thing. It's serious, right? We too many people losing their lives to road rage. 
And uh, we we control that, right? We control how we act, behave. Shout out to the angels, Marky Mark, Brother Timmy, Brother Noah, Sister V, Sister Alexandria, Brother Donnie, Brother Jazir, Brother Cairo, Brother Ethan, Nephew Sean, Brother Elijah, Brother Corey, and Brother Quadri. Shout out to our angels. Shout out to our angels' parents. We love you guys, man. Thank you for being great parents. Thank you for having the patience with our angels. We truly appreciate you guys. We love you guys. Again, thank you. And that's it. So all the subscribers, like I said, Brother brother Moss. Brother Moss, appreciate you, brother. Brother Darby from UC, appreciate you, brother. From Plain Byway, Plainfield, Broadway, Hamilton, appreciate you, my brother. Thank you for watching the channel with you and your son. Truly appreciate you guys, right? Thank you. I just want to keep continuing, guys, man. We got to keep sharing this channel, keep on sharing this content with each other, man, so we all can learn this, learn from this, right? Again, today, stop treating our children so with kid gloves. We can't treat them with kid gloves, guys. We can't. We can't worry about, well, am I going to hurt that feeling today? Or she going to be mad at me? She ain't going to speak to me? Can't worry about that. You know, when you're teaching, it's all about teaching, right? We're teaching people how to deal with the new world, right? This is our next generation. This is our generation. So we can't worry about them being in their films, right? No, you got to be able to deal with to teach you saying something you don't like. The professor saying to the professor, what well, your boss might not. You don't like what your boss said to you. Okay, eat it. Move on. Because you can't react because then you're insubordinate, right? You're insubordinate, you're going to get some time off, whatever, you're going to lose your job. So you got to be able to eat that stuff. Stop getting so sensitive. It's in your brain. I'm sensitive. Sensitivity. These young men and women are sensitive. You got grown adults sensitive. You got to break out that habit. That's a bad habit. Can't worry about what people think about you. Can't let that stuff bother what people say to you about you. Can't. No road rage, guys. Did it road rage alone? No, they, they let it alone. Mm -mm, that's not good because it don't it don't end well. That road rage don't end well. So be be conscious, right? If you're gonna roll by yourself out there, especially on the on dark highways, they might be trying to road rage you. If you can't find the nearest police station, go somewhere where it's lit at. Uh, lit at, but Berkeley police station. So just in case someone do have a weapon, at least you're right there, the cops are right there. You go to a store, some people might follow you to the store, right? So if you can't find a police station, fire the fire department somewhere where law enforcement can help you, right? Okay? Again, get that get that license plate number and send it to somebody real quick. Send it to someone, somebody real fast. So they'll have it, right? In case that somebody try to do something to your phone, break your phone, whatever you try to do, at least you sent it to someone somewhere already, right? Call police station, have on 911. Hey, I'm hearing so and so and so and so. I'm being being road raised by this car right here on what what street, what what road road you on, what block you on, whatever. At least they have the information. They can come down to deal with it, right? Yeah, we just want to get some, get some tricep work in. We got cardio later. Got our stretching in. Keep our, keep our side nerves stretched out, right? Get some more flexibility through the shoulders and through the chest, right? So we we'll do some barbell squats soon, right? But until then, we'll do the hammer, hammer squats. So we're still working on ladies, right? But we just have to be cognitive on making sure that we have our children uh, ready for the world right gotta have them ready for the world just in case we know a lot of kids ain't big on school right big on school so if they're big on school get them to a, a trade right get them to some electricity electrician get them to plumbing right all you're gonna need to toilets right all you're gonna need uh heating and heat and air conditioning stuff get them stuff like that right because we know how this how the next 10 20 years we know how this thing is going with these robots whether they're trying to do an ai right at least if they have a skill set, always going to need toilets, right? Always going to need electricity, right? Always going to need that stuff. You can do that, always going to need air conditioning, heat. They can do that kind of work. Solar, right? Put solar on. Uh, generators, right? Need that kind of work. They can do that work with their hands. That'd be great too, because everybody's not book savvy. Everybody gets, they get bored in the classroom. Maybe they love working with their hands, right? So we have them work, work with their hands. So we got to be more, more on that, right? 
Do we go? We're still gonna need teachers, right? We still need to have people sitting in the classroom need teachers, right? So you can and teach, teach our young children, teach our adults, teach our college students. Have them do that. Still gonna need lawyers. Still gonna need doctors, right? Still gonna need these people. We're still gonna need airplane pilots. Still still gonna need air traffic controllers, right? Get them in that kind of stuff. If they if they if they smart that way and do that, get them doing that. Cause them feel some people, the older people are getting older, they retire, they gotta replace them. So be mindful of that. Again. Let's stop the road rage. Someone trying to attack you on the on the on the on the on the, uh, on, the, on, the on the on the road. Call 911. Get that get, get that license plate number and do it from there. Let them do their job. Don't you try to go at some someone putting a finger up at them. You all putting fingers over each other. That guy. I'm most time the dude's trying to dominate a woman, trying to run her off the road and all that mess. Trying to be a tough guy. Or guy shooting through the window, all that mess, right? Call 911. Get get the license plate. Do what you gotta do, right? Again, let's stop being so sensitive with our children. Uh, stop, stop walking around with eggshells with them because you got to remember now, you are the boss. You run the house. Let's start teaching our children how to wash clothes at eight, nine years old. Let's start teaching them how to cook a little bit on, on, the, on the store, right? So they can be self-sufficient, right? So, so they can be, you know, they don't have to worry about, oh, mom, can you make me a sandwich? Oh, dad can do this. Oh, mom, you got to wash my clothes. Let them be responsible. Let them wash their own clothes. They're old enough. They're smart enough. They can start that you know, washing machine. is real easy, easy to uh uh, work. Teach them how to work it so they won't break it, whatever. Teach them how to sort the clothes from, from the colors to the whites to whatever. Boom. Hot water, cold water, whatever you got to do. Teach them. Let them do this through their own stuff. Let them make their own beds. Let them clean their own bedrooms up on the weekends. Wash their comforters and blankets and everything else. Clean that room up, air that room up. Teach them. We teach them and hold them accountable doing it, they'll do it. We sit there and say, oh no, I want to do it for them. I want to do it for them. They're going to do it. No. Not, we're not winning. We're not, we're not getting nothing we're not getting nothing with that, right? We're not getting nothing out of it. So don't be afraid to teach them. Teach them how to cook. Do the small stuff, right? Grilled cheese. Uh, if they eat hot dogs, whatever. But we got to teach them. Teach them how to cook it, right? And then if safety, let them know how safety it is. We need how much safety you need in the kitchen, right? So you're not burning the house down, right? So them different things that we need to help work with our, our young people because they're going to be older soon, right? So we got to make sure we teach them this kind of stuff now, right? Don't wait till they... 20 years old and, and, and the dude can't cook, the girl can't cook, they can't do nothing because we should have been taught back in the day because mama and dad wouldn't do it for them, right? And all, they all, you know, and stop it. Teach them. Take the trash out. You can do this, go ahead. All about teaching and making them hold them accountable. They can do it. All right, again, thank you for, thank you for, for uh, subscribing to the channel. CMD stand up, CMD stand up. If you need to hit me at glowpowercmd72 at gmail.com. That's glowpowercmd72 at gmail.com. Shout out to Iris Scarlata. God bless you, girl. You be safe. And thank you for shouting me out. Uh, shout out to Iris Vargas. Glad you're feeling better. God bless you. Glad you're feeling better. All right, for all you guys out there, man, thank you for guys subscribing, man. Kenny Brunson, you know you my dude. Love you, my brother. Jimmy Dark, love you, Jimmy. Appreciate you, my brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching all the time. Thank you for the views. Again, share it with your friends. Share it with your loved ones. Tell them, hey, Dougie Wynn got a YouTube channel. Let's get it, guys. Let's get it. We'll get one more set. I'll let you guys go. I know you guys want to watch this basketball game tonight. Should be a good one. You know, uh, hey, whoever you like, whoever you like, right? Well, my, my, my sixes is out of it, so I just want a good ball game, right? That's what we want. We just want a good game, right? Again, thank you guys. Love you guys. What's up, Tony Wilson? I haven't heard from you, man. Tony Wilson, how you doing, my brother? Uh, all the ones, man, that, that reach out, man. It's, 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 a, it's a blessing. I appreciate you guys. Yes, thank you. Thank you, for, thank you for shouting me out, man. Thank you for viewing the channel. Thank you, everybody, for looking at it, man, and and giving you input. Appreciate it. Let's get to that setting. So I got you guys go. All right. Sister Dawn, how you doing, Dawn? Sister Cheryl, how you doing, Cheryl? Pops to be proud of you, Cheryl. Pops to be proud of you.
Thank you guys. You be safe. Love you guys. One love. Be safe. Peace. Remember about all about love, peace, and respect, right? Remember, let's get our physicals, guys. Let's get, let's get your sleep apnea test. Go to your ear, nose, and throat doctor for that. Ladies, go to the gynecologist. Handle your business. Get your mammograms done. Pap smears done. Go get that done. Get your bone density test done, right? Go get that checked out, right? Men, press the exam. Colonoscopy, endonoscopy, ear, nose, and throat. Go get your sleep apnea test. Very important. Too many people dying in their sleep, that sleep apnea. So if we can do something about it, get ahead of it. You'll be good. Believe me, you put that mask on, guys. It's some of the best sleep you ever gonna have. I keep telling people it's like Michael Jackson sleep. What's up, brother Ellis? How you doing, brother Ellis? Good to good to hear from you, brother. Thank you for always checking in on me. Truly appreciate you, my brother. Uh, brother Gamo, thank you for watching the channel, brother Gamo. Welcome back, bro. Welcome back. Just wanna thank you guys, man. Love you guys. Let you guys watch the channel. We'll go watch this game tonight. You guys go watch it. Enjoy yourself. And everyone drive traveling back from uh, the holidays. Be safe. Be safe. Drive carefully. You know, it's a bunch of fools out there. Sometimes we have to drive for those fools, right? Again, love you guys. Be safe. One love. Peace.